I've had a lot of people write to me telling me how much they enjoy the videos and how much they're learning from the videos and also wanting to know what do I do with this knowledge? What do I do with this potential? So in this video, I want to talk about what to do with your witchy potential. But before I dive into that, hi, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. If you're new to the channel and you want to learn more about Wicca and witchcraft, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. So you're reaching your potential, your human potential really is what it's about is simply about learning and applying yourself and practicing your your skills and your craft so whether it is witchcraft or some other form of magic or anything it is about application and learning sure there are skills that you're going to have naturally and there are skills you're going to have to learn and develop a lot of people say to me about or ask me about getting witch powers, like they want the powers of a witch, which is, I guess, the result of having watched way too much television and listening to way too much in regards to folklore and, and fairy tales. It's not so much that witches have powers, it's that all humans have this ability to be able to use magic People have different talents for different psychical phenomena. Some people are great at being able to divine the future. Some people are great at, at premonitions. Some people are really good at connecting to spirits and being receptive and perceptive when it comes to communicating with deities and spirits and communicating with the dead. People have different talents. So some people are gonna be great at that stuff and other people are gonna be really lousy at that stuff. Some people will find it really easy to do tarot and other people will really have to struggle at learning it. It's all about application, learning and applying what it is that you've learned. We don't have special powers. We have the same abilities as any other non-witch. We just choose to learn how to build on these skills and learn how to use them so that we can incorporate them into our daily life and also into our spiritual practice. So your potential, your witch potential, is really about your potential as a human being and what you want to create in your life while you're here on planet Earth and fulfill what you came here to do, essentially. It's one of the reasons why this channel exists, it's the reason why the Mystery Witch School Academy exists. It's to help people develop their potential, to help people connect to who they really are, to help you connect to who you really are, and to be able to connect with all and everything. So that's connecting to the earth, connecting to the elements, connecting to the spirits, and connecting to your deepest witch self. So. Take some time away from Netflix and television and the fairy tales and understand that the craft isn't anything special. It is simply people getting on with learning how to use our abilities, our abilities that aren't superhuman. They are simply human and pretty much all of us have this potential. It's just that those of us involved in the craft choose to utilize it, use it, and learn it. So how you can use your potential is to keep learning. Keep learning more and more about yourself. Keep learning more and more about the craft, whatever your skills are. If you've been practicing these things, you'll know that you're good at some things and not good at other things. You'll know there's things you're interested in and things you're not interested in. And so just accept what it is that you enjoy as part of the craft, what you gravitate towards, and learn to develop your skills and abilities in that area. And that's how you'll develop your potential. You'll use your ability to be able to work magic. You'll use your ability to be able to know how to do healing. You'll use your ability to be able to do divination and even communicate with spirits if that's the way that you wanna go. You can use this potential in your life to 
not only enhance your own life and to be able to influence situations to your own advantage, but you'll also be able to help other people with these things. So if you've learned a little bit about how to do some spells on this channel, you can use those spells for, to help other people. You can use these spells to help you in your life. If you are looking at doing things to that, if you're really interested in the tarot or the runes or anything like that, you can use these skills to help other people, the same as you can use them to help navigate your way through life. It's all about application. The craft is practical, it's very practical. It's about connecting with your own potential and your own abilities, developing them through practice, and having the discipline to be able to stick to your practice and develop those skills. People also email me and ask me about these powers and how do they get these powers? It's like, well, it's like you can just have them served to you in some strange way or that you can miraculously somehow get these powers. People just want it really easy in this day and age because we live in a McDonald's world. Drive through, pick it up, eat it, done. We don't understand that anything that is worthy, worthwhile takes time, it takes discipline. We have to stop rebelling against ourselves and rebelling against the discipline word because if we, just, if we don't apply ourselves regularly, turn up for ourselves every day and practice in some way, then we're not going to get the gnosis, we're not going to get the skills. So if you're wanting to reach your potential as a witch, that means you have to apply yourself to learning and studying and doing what it is that you need to do every day to develop the more knowledge and to develop, to develop more skills. How do you dedicate yourself to your path? How do you dedicate yourself to the craft on a daily basis? Because this is where the rubber meets the road. This is where the gnosis comes in. It comes in from doing and it comes in from practicing and applying yourself. It doesn't come from reading a book. A book is just head knowledge. And you can read a lot, of, a lot of books and have a lot of knowledge about stuff. But to really know it, as in to, to live it and to feel it and to understand it in your being, in your energy system, requires that you do it and that you experience the having done it and the having stri striven, strived, for it because it is a process of learning. So how you develop your potential and use it is to practice, is to learn, to dedicate yourself and then the skills that you learn, the techniques that you learn, the processes that you learn, you can then use to help yourself in your own life and help other people at the same time. It does take application and that means that you do have to sacrifice something or some things in order to get it. Generally time is probably the main thing you'll have to sacrifice. <laughs> it's um, going to take time. So you have to know that it's going to have to be incorporated into your life in some way that um, it, it becomes part of your life and a part of uh, who you are and what you do. Like anything worthwhile. If you are a musician uh, if you've learned dance, if you've learned anything that requires a high degree of skill, you'll know that you have to apply yourself. You have to practice, you have to learn, and you have to dedicate yourself to that learning and growing, and that you know that you have improved, you know that you're getting it when you actually feel it in your body, you actually feel the difference that it's making in your life in some way. And that's how you use your potential in the craft. And that's why the Mystery Witch School 101 course exists, to help you do that. It's that next step after learning from books and, and applying the book knowledge yourself. It's that next step to learning how to use the information that you read, learning how to use the, the skills, learning how to develop the skills, the self-inquiry, the connection, learning how to connect simple things really but very 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 hard to know how to do when you're working by yourself. Traditionally witches, shamans, magicians had teachers, uh, usually it was one-on-one, -on -one. they would have a mentor or a teacher who would teach them how to do it. 
They didn't learn it from books. They learned it from other people teaching them how to do it. So that is the traditionally how it's taught. It's, it's, I've definitely had that kind of teaching in my life and that's been the best teaching of all. Yes, I've read a lot of books and I've got information from books, but the most I have learned has actually come from other people, uh, whether that's in a group learning situation or whether it was one-on-one. -on -one. That's actually where I really started to learn things. It, it's that connection and transmission from another person that really helps with the learning in this, in this kind of thing. And I'm not just saying that because I have a course. I'm saying it because I've experienced it myself. And that's why I have a course, because it is to help people who are on their own and who are looking for some mentorship and some guidance and some community to be able to start reaching their potential through practicing the craft, slowing down and putting these things into practice. Still being able to read the books, but just slowing it down and practicing and learning to go within and learn how to do these things so that it actually really does enhance your life and you can reach your potential. So if you are interested in doing that, the Mystery Witch School 101 Academy is available all year round. The link is in the description field below this video. So if you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Blessed be.